has been exciting to see my brother Sam serve as a state FFA officer this year and see all the opportunities he's had to travel and work with chapters and members across the state. He has set a good example to be a leader and a hard worker. But now that his term is ending, maybe he won't be making as many surprises at his home and I can finally get his room. My brother has always pushed me to be the best I can. Whether he did something on the farm or at school, he made sure I did it too. If it was something as simple as mowing the lawn or something as important as joining FFA, he always encouraged me to give my best effort in everything I do. Now, introducing our brother. Your 2022-2023 Northwest Vice President, Sam, Sam Phillips. <laughs> I'm gonna give them that two four, four on the floor like an outlaw boys on did before. Got the pretty girls out there begging for more. Gotta give them all what they came here for. Doing my thing, singing my song, right on track. I'm chugging along. I'm here and gone like yesterday, rolling like an old freight train. Raise your hand if your advisor has ever given you a ride to an FFA event. Now keep that hand in the air if you've ever feared for your life while your advisor was behind the wheel. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Let me take you way back to my sophomore year of high school, and our chapter was getting prepped to make the trek all the way out to Indianapolis, Indiana for national convention. Now, in order to make it to Indianapolis at a decent time, we had to leave at 5 a.m., which was no small task for any member of our chapter. But somehow, some way, we all made it to the van on time, and away we went. We were flying down the highways. Like, I mean, I could barely keep my head off the back of our rundown school van seat. We were making great time, but there was one small issue. We were going too fast. You see, our advisor had scheduled a tour of the John Deere Engine Works plant in Waterloo, Iowa. And at the rate we were traveling, we were going to be almost an hour early. As a group, we decided to completely skip the tour and just keep trucking to Indianapolis. Looking back, I wish I would have been able to attend that tour. That once in a lifetime experience passed us all by because of the speed at which we were traveling. Unfortunately, this fast paced outlook on my own life continued all throughout high school until my experiences as a state officer put them to the test. Flashback to last June, we had just finished up with the Northwest Chapter Officer Leadership Training, or Colt Conference. My teammate and I were hitting the road to go to another Colt Conference in Iowa Falls the next day. We're driving down the highway, and my teammate sees a sign on the side of the road. The sign reads, World's Largest Popcorn Ball, next right. Now, I'm the type of person who is absolutely on a mission whenever I drive. Like, the only way I'm stopping is if the gas light is on. My teammate, however, was not. This was not good because we were already going to be 20 minutes late to the conference in Iowa Falls and all the materials needed to set up for that conference were in the back of my car. But Holly wouldn't take no for an answer. So we pull off the interstate and into Sac City to see the world's largest popcorn ball live and in person. We stopped by for a minute to marvel at the glory of the thing. And to say the least, I was not impressed. We took a picture, stood there for about another six seconds, and then I made sure that we were back on the road. We flew all the way to Iowa Falls, only to arrive an hour early. Our little pit stop hadn't made us late at all. And I had no need to drive as quickly as I did. I was so focused on getting to that end destination that I didn't enjoy the stop we had along the way. Looking back, I hadn't been a good teammate or a good friend. The picture we took at the popcorn ball was reflective of this. My teammate was super happy, and I may have been smiling, but you can tell I thought the whole ordeal was a total waste of time. This moment may seem small, but it's the little moments like this that we miss out on if we fly down the interstate all of our lives. 
Fast forward a couple of months, and I'm back on the road. This time, on the way to a chapter visit in Clarion, Iowa, to attend their chapter meeting and do some workshops afterwards. I'm traveling with another one of my teammates at the time, and we get to Clarion about 45 minutes early. So naturally, we decide to take a little tour of the town. Now this is where I made one of my greatest discoveries during this year of service. There, on the side of the road, beaten down, ragged, looking like it came straight out of the 80s, were two beautiful recliner chairs with a cardboard sign that read free tape to the side. Right then, I knew it would match perfectly with the rest of my decor in my dorm room back in Ames. Unfortunately, the Chevy Impala that we took to the visit was not exactly built to haul such precious cargo. However, I did know whose vehicle was, Rachel's, who was also on her way to Clarion. So we go to the visit and have an awesome time with the members of the Clarion Goldfield Dow's FFA chapter. After the visit, we book it back to the street. And thankfully, those recliners hadn't been stolen out from under my nose. After a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, two of us now have perfectly matching recliners in each of our dorm rooms. That night changed the way that I look at my life and the speed at which I travel. You see, I often think of my life like a road trip, with that ultimate goal being that end destination. Now that road trip of life can feel long and drawn out at times, especially if we focus too much on where we want to go, rather than where we are currently. Now, if we focus too much on that end destination, then what was the point of ever driving there to begin with? Our goals are great, and we should definitely stay on track towards that point. But if we never take some time and go see the world's largest popcorn ball, or grab a sweet piece of furniture off the side of the road, then our life is going to be a whole lot more boring. Maybe you spend some more time with your friends and family. Maybe you go out and you make new friends at your next conference or convention. Or maybe you take some time to find a new singer that you really enjoy. It's these little moments in our own lives that make our journey more enjoyable and rewarding. I challenge each and every one of you to find those exit ramps in your own lives. Iowa FFA, enjoy the ride. A young boy, two hands on the wheel. I can't replace the way it made me feel. And I would press that clutch and I'd keep it right. He'd say, a little slower, son, you're doing just fine. Just a dirt road with trash on each side, but I 